Hey, folks, how you doing? Let's go ahead and get into the news. Um, probably not much uh, new in the way happening, but let's take a look. It is 5.12 in the afternoon on this Thursday, August 29th, and uh, we're going to get right into it. Let's uh, first uh, take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin uh, down about 1%, 1 uh, to 59500 close enough. And uh, SD Boolean, it was up. I don't know if it's still up now, but it was up a little bit, not much. Uh, gold, uh, $2,531, uh, up $22.23. And uh, silver went up $0.33 cents today, which is a, it's a nice move, but it's only at $29.60. So, um, you know, a little little movement there on the metals. Let's take a quick look at the Dow, and um, we'll just get into the news, okay? Oh well, the Dow wound up being up uh, over half of, a half of one percent, up two hundred and fifty points, or pretty close to it. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into the news, and let's um, let's cover what we need to cover, okay? Uh, the important stuff. Okay. I'll tell you what. We're going to go on to Breitbart. We're going to take a look at this, and we're going to try to see if there's any retort to this. I, I can't make up my mind about it because I try to be fair. Um, evidently, um, these military cemeteries are not to be photographed or used in... Um, promoting a candidate or something like this, political purposes. And evidently, uh, Trump did bring a photographer. I guess he asked permission about it. And I guess uh, one of the families gave him permission to photograph their son's um, um, gravestone. And evidently, there's all... Um, uh, this is CNN telling us about top Ukrainian pilot killed when U.S. made F-16 fighter jet. Um, uh, a jet crashed, and it may have crashed because it got hit by a missile, either uh, inadvertently or targeted. Um, remember I told you that the days of the helicopter are soon to be over? They're just too lumbering and slow, no matter what you do. Well, Tanks are getting to be like that too. Tanks, um, they they used to make the top of the tank thinner because typically that's not where they get hit. Um, they make the sides very, very strong and they make underneath the tank strong because if you hit a mine or something like that. And now what they're finding is that these drones attack the top of these tanks and uh, the tanks are going to have to be 140 tons in order to be able to be uh, drone-proof. That's a sad reality of it. So I don't know, you know, what they're going to be able to do. But anyways, the F-16, and now they're saying that the Russian air defense is so unbelievably good that you cannot fly anything near it because it'll get shot down, including F-16s. So uh, not good news for... NATO. Okay. Trump campaigns with graves. New York Times says filmed Green Beret's tombstone without permission from family. Um, it caused turmoil, army rebukes. And folks, I want to tell you something. Uh, this looks like it's very real. I'm going to read it to you. And a lot of you are not going to like this. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you are easily offended and you've lost a loved one in the army, I want you to either press the silent button for a second or close your ears because I have a I have opinions about this and I'm going to state them. And I'm not in the military, so I don't feel like I'm a really great judge about this. I'm only giving you my layman's opinion on this. Let me look at this now because it just went off again. Um uh, U.S. Army rebukes Trump's campaign for incident at Arlington National Cemetery. Evidently, he had one of the family members' um, permission to do it. 
I'm not saying it makes it right. That's what I read on here. And it's saying, this is off CNN now, by the way. And it says, the U.S. Army, will you please give me a fucking break on this? Please give me a fucking break. God damn it. I hate when it does this. It's so disruptive. And they make it extra loud. It's all advertising. Okay. Uh, all right. Army rebukes. Let me put this back and I got to go through this again. Uh, U.S. Army issued a stark rebuke of former President Donald Trump's presidential campaign over the incident on Monday at Arlington, uh, saying in a statement on Thursday that participants in the ceremony were made aware of federal laws regarding political activity at the cemetery and abruptly pushed aside an employee of the cemetery that they wanted to charge somebody from the Trump campaign uh, with aggravated assault, the usual fucking leftist garbage. Um, participants in that ceremony and the subsequent Section 60 visit were made aware of federal laws of the DOD Department of Defense. Um, let's see. Um, this incident was unfortunate, and it is also unfortunate that an ANC employee and her professionalism has been unfairly attacked. ANC is a national shrine to be honored dead of the armed forces and is a dedicated staff will continue to ensure public ceremonies are conducted with the dignity and respect the nation's fallen deserve. Um, Army spokesperson said while the incident was re reported to the police department, um, Meyer Henderson Hall, the employee in question, decided not to press charges. Good idea. Good idea. I'd say that's a good idea. Because when they uh, when they out you, they're going to find out that you're a little fuck-ass Democrat that's trying to get Kamala to put in and name your street after her. We're not going to fucking let you go with this. You understand? Yeah, the family was for Trump, the one that let him uh, film their headstone. But we're not going to let this CNN bullshit uh, take over this channel. We're not doing it here. We are going to get to the truth. And if you don't like it, that's too bad. And we're going to get off the subject now. U.S. Army, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you what I told my friend, my ex-friend, as he was so anxious to go up and learn about the F-16 pilots. I told him they are supporting the high-heeled gowns. Um, dressed um, uh, people in the army. Okay, I'm sorry. At least Vladimir Putin comes out and prays for us and tells us that he feels sorry and uh, frightful for us for believing in dressing in 90s and high heel slippers as they go into the army. You folks go fuck yourself over there. Okay, how's that sound? Come back and deal with me when you slip out of your 90. Folks, this is fucking disgusting. It's so disgusting. And then we got to go through this. It's like semantics. It's all garbage. Get on the horn. Get all your transgenders in order there. Get them to, uh, you know, uh, go on drag race or whatever the hell it is. And let's get to it. You fucking, fucking incompetent pieces of filth. You're corrupt. You're destroying our country. Let's get off this before I really lose it. All right. Very furious. Vets furious. I see. Campaign was warned not to take photos. Like I said, um, we'll go over to Breitbart on this one. I normally don't do that. Federal law prohibits election-related activities. That is a one of those things where it's going to be hard to tell what's what. You know what I mean? What is and what isn't. Now Arlington whistleblower fears retaliation developing. I see. Well, if the shoe fits, wear it. You understand? It's an embarrassment. Musk censors coverage on X. Dawn of the Dead is what they're calling it. Um, Trump goes on crazed rant calling for death of his enemies. <clears throat> it was on his 
uh, Truth Social or whatever it is. <clears throat> he was calling for um, uh, prison terms and the death penalty and all this kind of stuff. Um, all right, BJ Dunn's unhinged. Kamala can go to hell. Booed by a room full of firefighters? I would take that as a compliment. Firefighters, I know they like me over there when I go and I throw my discs over there. I waved at them uh, uh, yesterday, and they tooted the horn at me. They're all right. You know what I mean? I was going to buy them some discs, but I know that they'll never throw them over there anyway, you know. But they're all right. But, folks, they're leftists. They're almost all. It's like 98, 99% leftist, folks. That's how it works anymore. I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, tonight, Harris explains shifting positions on key issues in first interview developing. Uh, they're showing that uh, Kamala is uh, rising in her numbers in the Sun Belt. Oh, my God. Um, he is still alive. Um, Jimmy Carter, that's amazing because he's had a great deal of his brain removed. He had brain cancer. Uh, looks like his eye is no longer functioning. Um he was a hardcore leftist. He was a peanut farmer from Plains, Georgia, as I recall. I was around 11 or 12 years. No, I was older than that. I was like 14 years old, 13 when he got elected or something like that. I forgot. 77, he got elected. So I was a young lad, shall we say. Um, I have mixed feelings on Jimmy Carter. He was an honest man, but just because you're honest doesn't mean he can't destroy your country for you. Um. Uh, Telegram CEO arrest Royals far right user users in USA. That that whole thing is just fucking child pornography, is what I hear. It's all that is. It's like fucking Instagram or whatever the fuck. No, not, uh, not the other one there. My son wants me to have it to talk to him. I don't want it. That stupid thing. Um, I don't even want to get into it. They're all the same. Ugh, horror. Shark decapitates teenager on Jamaican beach. Not good. Panic in France as war between migrants and police spark chaos. William and Harry reunite. The Brits there. Warring brothers united by grief at uncle's funeral. Uh, what is that? He didn't die, did he? We would have heard about that, wouldn't we? United by grief wearing... Warring Prince William and Harry reunite at their uncle's funeral after Duke of Sussex make secret dash to UK. So I must admit, I don't know the whole um, feudal system over there. I just know it's stuffy British stuff. And I, you know, what do we know about it over here? You know what I mean? We don't know anything. Dollar General sinks most ever after painting grim picture of budget shoppers. And um, it looks like, um, and you knew it was coming, uh, Big Lots. And they're, folks, other than their bread, that they have like a pretty good deal on their breads that are kind of like getting close to the being stale date. Other than that, Big Lots is not all that cheap, folks. They're not. They're not all that cheap. I bought like 20 pairs of socks there. And then I was not smart enough to realize that they're strangulation socks. You know, so they strangulate your your leg because they're all spandex or whatever the hell it is. And I threw them all out. Major discount retailer on the brink of bankruptcy. 1,400 stores. That's right. It's big lots. Those are, uh, they used to be considered uh, C grade. C to C plus grade. You'll have a post office in there. You'll have a, a big lots and a post office. You know what I mean? And that's got to carry the businesses in there. And now they're turning into D, D minus, uh, F um, malls. And they're not really malls. They're malls, but they're outdoor malls, you know. And they're minor, you know. They're minor malls. Okay. Putin, Kim Jong-un, new alliance, proving to be a win-win.
Um, Mega church faces worshiper exodus after child sex abuse scandal. Folks, I'm sorry. I know I've said this to you before. God, it's so hot in here. You're going to see me sweating and uh, sweat dripping off my um, forehead. Um, I've never met a straight priest. I'm sorry. Or minister. I, I, they claim to be straight. But as far as I can tell, they all have some sort of sexual hangups. I, I'm sorry. That, that's just my opinion. That's my thoughts on it. And, uh, you know, my best friend when I was young, uh, you know, he was uh, doing something or another with the minister and his mom, a heavyweight, very, very heavy, obese woman, uh, really didn't care as long as he was uh, whatever he was uh, doing. And she had a front row seat there. OK, I'm not even sure she had a front row seat. Um, just, you know, I've had enough of it. I just in my older years now. You just kind of have to go with the flow. All right. Um, let's see here. This is going to be a very short read, folks. Uh, football is for the girls. Meet NFL new stars. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing quite as sexy as a girl that likes football. She has a mind that can work, and it's not soccer. And that's not an insult to the people who play and watch soccer. But... Uh, football is quite hard to learn. It's quite hard. Tired nation, nearly 80% of Americans too exhausted to cook after work. Uh, catching up on sleep on weekends may lower heart disease risk by a fifth. Um... Gen Zers skipping college to take blue collar jobs and launch trade business. Breakthrough as researchers crack autism code. Study diabetes detectable through voice. EEE -E -E fears rise. New England battles mosquitoes bearing deadly infection. Nothing that being kept in your house for a couple of months can't solve, folks. You fucking imbeciles out there. My subs excluded, of course. Wells Fargo employee found dead in cubicle four days after coming to work. New York County's ban on wearing masks in public leads to first arrest. Good. Good. All the morons are putting on their masks already. You know why? Because they're watching that fucking groove tube. You understand? They're watching the groove tube. And if they don't watch the groove tube and don't get their dose of leftist nonsense every day, they're not going to be wearing those masks. You understand? It's mindless, fucktard, sub-zombie behavior. This is what you all wanted. You all knew what this came with the complications of. You already knew this. People are going to be robbing banks and stuff with these masks on. You already knew this. You already knew. But you were so big on being a fucking shit fuck that you just wanted to follow what you were being told without using your fucking brain. Of course, you don't have one anyway. You have a little tiny little microscopic fucking little sliver of fucking gray in your head. My subs excluded. A uh, 21-year-old man gets baptized, then drowns rescuing a girl. Great. And we will check uh, Breitbart to find out and get clarification, hopefully, on that one story. Uh, J.D. Vance booed during firefighter union speech in which he asked members. Um, this is coming from Fox. Um in which he asked members, what have Democrats gotten you? Folks, let me tell you something about union people. They're union babies. Um, they don't have to struggle. They're exactly opposite of what a business owner has to do. If somebody complains, you have to get out there and you have to make the customer happy. Union people say, go suck my asshole out sideways because my union says I only have to do this. They're fucking coddled little pieces of shit. Sorry, if I have subs, you probably know I'm right if you are a union baby. 
I'm not telling you that you can't be here. I'm telling you, just admit it. That's the difference. And it's the truth. Man, I'm dripping sweat. Oh, we're almost done with this, folks. Don't worry. All right. And we're going to go to Bright Bite. Now, there's so much advertising. It's just ridiculous. You can't even get through anything without this. Uh, WhatsApp was the app I was thinking of. My son wants me to get that. I don't want it. Oh, did they separate these two or did they die? These two, they look like they were really good with each other. These are the ones that were connected where their heads were right near each other. Yeah. See in the picture there, uh, what happened? They separated them. Is that what it is? Let me look at this. Did one of them, well, if one of them died, the other died. Um, Reality TV and secret weddings, the remarkable lives of conjoined twins, Hensel twins. And I mean, look at them. They're, you know, they have a hard existence. What can I tell you? They're pretty little girls. Um, uh, these interesting joined at birth twins have a story that is hard to hear. How do you have a baby? You know what I mean? It's like you tell the other one not look. You know, it's weird. I mean, that's exactly what happened. They had a conjoined Chinese twins in a circus and they both uh, bore uh, children and they were males. So they were very um, understanding for each other's situation. All right. Are they dead or what? Okay. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know it's very rare. Okay. So evidently they're all right. So God bless them. I, you know, I, I always told that story that those, I had a friend of mine and he had identical twin sisters or paternal sisters, whatever they were. They looked a lot like each other. Yeah, I could tell them apart. One of them was more of a strawberry blonde with more freckles, uh, but they were pretty close. And I remember I, I would always get her so mad because I'd go up to her and I'd say, because we were like 16 years old at that time. And I'd say, man, it's going to be really weird to date. I mean, like I'm dating, but like, it's going to be really weird for you girls to date. You're going to have to find identical twin guys. And they used to get so mad at me. That one girl in particular, she goes, we're not going to have to get identical twin brothers. You're crazy. But I used to get them so mad with that, especially that one girl. She hated that. She'd really get mad at me. But I just laugh, you know. I thought it was funny. Um, anyways, I think we're almost done here. Um... Okay, Gen Zers. Um, uh, California puts strict limits on digital replicas. Uh, Angelina Jolie as the tormented Div Davina Calas at Venice. She certainly does look uh, a lot older there, but I'm sure it's the makeup. She's still probably very attractive. Richard Zimmon autopsy reveals drugs in his system when he died you know it's not that he was i mean he tried to help a lot of people in his life i believe that uh but he was such a weirdo that uh, and it didn't come from his thinking he was a woman or wanting to be a woman of course that was all pretty well known or suspected as junior says in hee-haw but um you know he, he was like pretty off the chain. You know what I mean? And um, I could only see him at Century Village on the second floor there, uh, making his way up. Um, man, the weirdest thing I ever saw were uh, Chinese Jewish uh, people that I gave a ride home to Century Village to one time back in the 80s. And I'm telling you, these two looked exactly like Jews crossed with Chinese people. They were like a, that was it. I mean, Century Village, oy vey. Anyways, we're almost done here, folks. I think this is, all right. So he had drugs in his system. I'm not surprised. He was still a nice guy. Um, violent drug gangs bring mayhem to Western Europe. Bring them here. This is, uh, this is what the Americans want anyway. And that's it. And that's all, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Breitbart. 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 And let's see what they say about it. Because they'll find out whether that woman was a hardcore leftist or worked as a volunteer for Hillary Clinton or whatever it is. That's what I suspect we're going to see here. Welcome to 
Will you please give me a break? Okay, um, they're not showing anything here. I'm looking to see. You figure that there would be something on this. I would not like to see any political party outlawed on the basis of its ideology. Because I still believe, Mr. Chairman... Okay, I'm looking. I don't see anything on this. I was ran in case of the office. Um... <laughs> Kamala saying that she worked at Burger King under the Golden Arches. I have very difficult time believing that. You can run from a bully for so long. Okay, so I don't see anything here. Um, I don't see anything here. They're not saying anything about it. Um. All right, we we have nothing. Um, we have nothing here. Uh, oh, this is pissing off the woman uh, that I subscribe to, um, um, Brawley Farm or Starkey Farmstead, whatever it is. Will you give me a fucking break with this? God damn these fucking advertisements, and you can't get rid of them. Fucking assholes. $150,000 home loans for illegal aliens head to uh, Ozzy Newsom's desk there in California. Fucking unbelievable, folks. Do you understand why I hate you now? Do you understand that? My subs excluded. It's absolutely ridiculous. You don't want your country anymore. You want to take it away from us. I don't want you to take away from us. And I'm going to fight the whole way. Goodbye.